Hey, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to UV the character's body. We learned what the UVing was for, for painting textures and unfolding. And now we're going to crack on with just doing some UVing for the clothes, the t-shirt, the trousers and the shoes, which should be um, simpler than the body, to be honest. So let's get started straight away. So now we want to bring back our, um, our t-shirt. Let's do one at a time. Let's move this away. I'm going to turn on the t-shirt. And I'm going to turn on um, the trousers as well, and I'll, I'll turn on the shoes in a minute. We'll do that second. Let's do that last. Um, let's just put these back to unsmoothed, and I've got the trousers on reference. So let's just put them back on normal. There we go. So as you can see, as before, we've got um, just 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 a mess here at the moment. So really quickly, the same as we did before. Let's get the T-shirt. We're going to do a plane on map. We're going to go up to UVs, planar, and we're going to do it in the Z direction, down the um, down the Z plane from the front. Apply. There we go. And I'm going to close that. And while we're there, I'll do the same. Um, go, make sure you go back to object mode. When you click on it, it does go into um, faces. And I'm going to do the same again. UV, planar mapping, down the Z axis. There we go. Let's start with the T-shirt. Should be really pretty simple, this. So... Um, Let's zoom in here. We want to um, just literally just cut it in half, really. So let's double click the edges. And we don't have symmetry on at the moment. And um, we can turn on or we can select them manually. So we're doing this. I'm doing this. As you can see, if I go into, um, if, if I just um, hide this window at the way for you in a minute, if I just hide the, the body layer. Oh, the t shirt is on the body layer. So sorry. So let's just. Um, if I zoom in here and hit the four key, so you can go in there, you can see the cut is going all the way through the middle, um, pretty easy. So I'll move this back, I'll go into my shaded view, and we will hit the cut, and we've cut it right down the middle. So now let's select all our UVs, and we'll do an unfold, just like we did in the previous video. I'm going a little bit faster now, um, just to speed up things a bit. And you can see we've got a nice sort of even distribution here, so what we're going to do is go up to modify and uh, layout to lay out the two uh, the, the, the the two planes that we've got. Let's rotate them into view so we've got them. Um, 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 you know we can see them so it's easy to paint them. You, it doesn't matter where they are, but you know when it comes to painting in Photoshop, you want them sort of um, as much user friendly as possible, really. So let's just go to um, UV shell. I'm going to go to hit the, the um, control key UV shell, and I'm going to rotate this. There we go. One. I'm going to move it in to here so as you can see the top is the front and the bottom is the back now you can paint your design on um, whatever you want really so that, that that's pretty much it for the t-shirt if you hit the um, checkered button you can see it's got a really nice distribution of of, of, of UVs and nothing's nothing stretched um, very it's very simple very easy to do and now let's go straight to the trousers same again, exactly the same again. You can always, if you want, go to I select, view select, like we did before, just to show just this. And then I'm going to get edges, I'm going to select them all through the middle. And actually, I don't want that edge, I want these here. Just to put a bit further back, really. So that we want, I want to go down that side, yeah. Again, it's just about hiding the seams as much as possible, really. And that will do love nicely. Let's click the cut, so you can either click in here in your UV toolkit, or go up to cut and cut, or hit shift and X. So now we're going to unfold all of these. Hold down the um, shift key, or go up to the menu, unfold. And then we're going to go to modify and layout. There we go. There's the trousers. Very easy. So then we go to um, UV shell tool. I'm going to rotate this around. Same again. Just hit the um, normal keys. You know, W for move, E for rotate and R for scale. And you want to get the most, um, you know, we could probably actually scale this up a bit, get more resolution out of them maybe. Let's just try that. Yep, it still fits into our, you know, like I said before in the previous video, we must make sure things fit in the um, the the zero to one space. 
and and you're done. Those those are done. Very simple. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the shoes, be a little, little bit more complicated. So let's now go to show, I select, and view selected. And I'm going to obviously save. I'm going to hit Control S, or you can save as a new version. So let's turn on our shoes. Here we go. So what we're going to do here now, I'm going to hit the F key to zoom in. And we made it from a box, so it's got some sort of distributed UVs already, but they're not usable. They're not they're not paintable. So um, let's um, let, let's let's start with the tongue first. So I'm going to turn off the checker at the moment. As you can see, it, we started from a box, and this is what it's like when it's unfolded. So where where do we start from here? We can't. We don't really want to plane a map. So what we want to do is do something different and go up to UV and um, hit automatic. What automatic does is it is it is it it generates um, UVs based on all four planes, so you know, um, um, top, bottom, left, and, and, and right, and it sort of tries to unwrap them for you, which sometimes is really um, good enough, especially for this tongue. So as you can see, if we, um, if I, I now just isolate, select, show, isolate, selected, you can see the seams. For a simple shape like this, it's absolutely perfect. So what you could do is you could weld um, something we haven't done. Um, I mean, I'm going to leave it like this, but if you want to, up till now we've only done cutting, but if you want to st stitch things back together, you can select edges like this and you can go up to cut and sew and you can go up to um, move and sew. And what that does is it moves one to the other and, melt, and, and, and puts them back together again. As you can see, that seam is gone now. And you, you, you could, I mean, it's not really necessary for this really. Um, because you know they are laid out quite well, but that is something to consider if you want to if you want to do it. I do use um, move and sew a lot, but our shapes are quite simple at the moment, so so we've been all right really so far. Um, but just again, I'll show you again. Um, what you do is you just select each edge, and it will show you where it corresponds to. I could have selected these ones down here, and you can click just sew, and it will sort of jump, and it will sort of sew them. But if you click move and sew. It, it moves one to the other and now you've got this one solid mesh so if you didn't want to seam here you didn't want to paint over that seam this would be great then you could sort of select these ones and do the same again you can hit the G key and, and then you there you go you've got you've got two sides you've got two less seams to paint over and then you could even go again and 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 sew all this together in one long in one long thing. So now you can see what I've got is, is this edge all, all the way around has only got one seam. So that is better for painting, but I know that ours is only going to be one color, so it doesn't really matter. So from here, if you, if you want, we could say select, um, we could go to uh, select the whole UV shell, and we could go to um, unfold, and then we can do a modify and um, optimize and hit the G key again. It doesn't seem to be having much effect really, so that's best as you'll get at the moment. And then you can scale this down. So you've got a little bit less resolution now um, from doing that, which is why, you know, in my particular case, it was probably best to keep it as solid shapes. Um, but if I am gonna paint some design around the edges and I don't want the seams, then this would have been, you know, this is, this is, this is perfect. So now you've got both options, you know, you, you know how to sew stuff together and to cut, which is, you know, the two basic tools of, um, of UV editing. So I'm just going to quickly go in here and I'm just going to move these um, up a bit, just away, just slightly away from the edge. And that's our upper and lower tongue. Um, there you go, pretty simple. Tongue's done there. Let's now go back out to um, object mode. Show, isolate, select, view selected, and we're going to um, um, show our shoe at the bottom. So for here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do another plane on map, but I'm going to do it from a different angle. I'm going to do it from Y, so it's going to come straight down. If I hit project, you see it's gone straight down, and you can see the projection there. Okay, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to cut the bottom off. I'm going to go to edges, I'm going to select the whole bottom, and there we go. So let's just make a cut here. I'm going to cut, I'm going to select all of the UVs and do an unfold and I'm also going to do a layout. 
Um, as you can see, this is a, this this needs a little bit of work, I think, really. So what we could do for nice painting, we could we could cut a seam down here, perhaps. And, and and again, this is all trial and error. So just you, you sometimes you have to cut. It doesn't look right. You might sew it back together again, or you might undo. So I'm going to deselect there. And there's the cut. You can see the cuts there. Um, I want it to go all the way through. So I've no, I, I can't see that because it's hidden in the model, but you can see it here. So we're going to do a cut. I'm going to um, select the um, uh, the shell to UV shell and then unfold. There we go. I'm going to go modify um, layout. I didn't. I only selected one shell then, so then I'm going to do um, this one as well. Let's move this one out of the way. Um, let's do a. Um, to UV shell and move this up out of the way. And as you can see now, now um, let's just turn on the checkered. Yep, that's pretty good. So now we can sort of un uh, try and optimize this a bit. And let's see, um, optimize. Let's try again, G, 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 G. There we go, I'm just hitting the G key to, um, to repeat my last command. I'm gonna shrink this down. There you go. That is that is pretty. Um, that, that's good enough to paint on now, and you've got a nice um, distribution of UVs. And the tongue is done, the shoes done, and um, you can take things further. Sometimes you know I, I don't particularly want to do this, but you you can um, select um, uh, the, the UVs along the bottom here. So say like this, for example. And when you do more advanced UV editing, you'll get into these. So you, you can do things like this. You can select this and then go into your um, uh, transform and you've got um, aligning. Let's see if we can find a line. There we go, a line and snap. And you can say, I just, with those ones just selected, I want to align them across the bottom. You see, I missed one there. So let me just select that one there as well. And th sometimes this helps for um, uh, for for painting. I don't want to do it now because it's stre it's it's st it's stretching out. But what you can do now is you can select the UVs, and if you unfold from here, it it it, it will it puts them back. But you if you if you select a few in the bottom, sometimes it can stretch it down to the um, unfold it to the bottom in different ways. So just have a play with that. Um, we're not going to use it here, but I just. Trying to introduce you to a few more tools, um, you know, a line left, a line right, um, um, center, and those sorts of things. So just just have a play. We don't we don't need them for now. Um, let's crack on. So that's pretty much the shoot done. Now with with the with the lace, we're only ever going to give it a black color, um, and, and it has got this sort of um, sort of thing as we start. It, it does give you basic UVs, but it, let's see what it looks like with a UV and then an automatic. There you go. So it's created shells for all the different parts. It's not particularly great, um, but it, it, it's fine for what we want for now. If you wanted to paint a particular pattern, then you might have to go this and you, you might have to start sort of sewing things back together. Um, again, you know, you would sort of use um, a substance painter or something like that so you can paint over the seams. So there you go. So we have UV'd all the clothes pretty easily. Now you want to get the UVs across to the other shoe, so you could you can you can copy UVs across, but it's it, it's so quick. Do you remember that we um, we just duplicated this? So if I if I I'm just going to close down the UV editor for now. I'm going to get rid of this so we can go back to a bigger view. And what I'm going to do is in the outliner, I'm going to collect the whole of shoe two. I'm just going to delete it, and I am literally just going to. Um, uh, duplicate. Oops, and I'm going to group. You can see the group node is in the middle already, and we're going to do the same as before. Minus one. All I've done is just delete the old shoe and just reduplicate it. But this one now has the correct UVs, the same as the other one. If we go to UV UV Editor, you can see it's got the same UVs. So there you go. We we've, we we've UV'd. Um, um, a whole character there, really. Um, you, you know, we've we've got the tongue and the teeth, but I probably won't bother with with, with them because I'm just going to use a normal standard um, blind shader, um, and it's going to be procedurally generated. But you know now that with the tongue, you would literally just select the tongue, do a planar map, um, cut it down the center, and 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 you're done exactly the same as you've done the shoe. So. Um, I hope that helps. We've now had two videos on UVing, um, and that gives you the basics. Um, I hope that helped, 
Um, we are getting close to the end now, so we're now going to, um, you know, in the next video, we're actually going to paint some nice little skin details and put it back on and create a proper material um, for this guy. And um, a couple more videos, and, and we'll sort of be getting there. So, you know, we've come a long way now. So, if you've enjoyed it, if you could hit subscribe and the notification bell so that, you know, when more videos come out, you'll be notified. And, and I'd love to hear comments so far. Has this helped? What would you like to see different um, in future videos? And um, yeah, that would be fantastic. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video.